Okay, so this is going to be a quick Ginkgo tutorial. My name is Zero, and I'm the one rushing you through this lesson right now. Because it is super hot, and I'm doing this tutorial without a fan. So my death shall be on your hands. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. But I am burning up down here. Alright, so here we go. Quick tutorial, go. You already know when Marvelous Designer exports things, it turns it into triangles. Even if you were to use, well I'm not really sure because I haven't done it, but I did hear that Marvelous Designer also exports in quads and the later versions. But in the versions that I give out, um, it's only in triangles. So some people complain about it and said that they want this into quads but don't want to sit through the whole process of redoing the retopology by hand and um, then they don't have money for the retopo flow plugin so on so forth. So I have a solution for you. If you went back to episode 1 and downloaded the class pack that I gave you back in the day, you should see that inside there was a copy of ZBrush. And I never really talked about it because I've been kind of avoiding uh, quads myself. But I guess the day has come where I must show you how to transform your garment from triangles to quads. So here's what we do. First we have an outfit that we created in Marvelous Designer as you can see I have right here in all this triangular glory. We are going to click on object mode and go in here click on the dress and then go file export um, object and then we're just going to name it uh, say dress 2. Now if you already have exported this from Marvelous Designer you can skip the whole bringing it into Blender um, step right together and just go straight into ZBrush from there. But if you wanted to make some, um, what are those called, changes and adjustments and stuff in there before you quad it out, you can do that first and then export it like I just did. So we exported our dress and we're going to go and open up ZBrush. So I'm going to have to apologize now because ZBrush is kind of a diva. It um, takes out full screen and it covers up my screen thingy so I can't even pause it while it's loading so sorry about that. Okay so we have ZBrush and it opened up. You're going to go over to the side here where it says tools and you're going to select um, well you're going to wait for this to pop up first and then you're going to press hide. Then you're going to go over here to the side where it says tools and then you go import um, desktop wherever you saved your thing and we're going to select trust 2 and then we're going to click into the works workspace I think this is the left click into workspace click and drag and you will see your garment but in world uh, when it's in the workspace we're going to go over here to the geometry button and it's going to open up a new tab and you're going to scroll down until you see Z remesher and click that. I didn't touch any of these settings in here. Everything is still factory and like default. But if you know what any of these mean, please feel free to play around with it see if it gives you a better result than the one I'm about to show you. Um, if you're not daring like myself, just press the Z remesher button and it will bring this orange bar up here and it's converting your triangular garment into a quad garment. So when the bar goes away, you just left click into the workspace again, click and drag, and then you'll have your garment all quadded out. So once you see it and you like what you see, press export over here in the tools, which is right next to the import one, export, and we're going to name it uh, dress to wads, and then hit save. Now that it's done, you can just close it out, press nope. Alright, and come back into Blender. I like to put everything on separate layers. You know how I am about that by now. So I'm just going to delete that. And we're going to go to a new layer. And I'm going to go File, Import, Object. And I'm just going to scroll around to see Dress 2 with Quads. Was this? Dress 2 with Quads. And here is our garment that we had earlier, all in Quads. So I'm just going to press Smooth so you can see it smoothed out. And then you press tab and you can see that the triangles are no longer there and that it is fully quad. The downside to using this method is that it takes away the UV mapping that you had in Marvelous Designer. Of course, like a dingus, I just deleted it so I can't even show you an example of it. But um, you see right here, with it selected, the UV mapping is not here. So you will have to um, mark the seams and unwrap the garment 
I'm not good at unwrapping at all. That is like one of the main reasons why I don't use quad garments because I'm terrible at unwrapping and Marvelous Designer spoils me by letting me do it in the 2D window when I'm making it. So I can give you a quick rundown of how unwrapping works even if it's not a good one but at least it'll get you started, right? <laughs> okay, so um, what you do is you switch over down here. I have faces currently selected. You want to switch it over to edge select and I think you press, let me start my display, alt and click, right click on a line and it gives you this right here. So you're gonna go over to the UV siding and UV, what is this, shading and UVs and we're going to press mark scene. And then you're gonna go on the side and do the same thing. Hopefully finding one straight line uh, <laughs> that matches is not quite matching at all because of this right here. Um, hmm. Let me see. This helps it out a little bit. Cheating. Create a path. We'll paint it back later. <laughs> Alright, so sculpt. And let's try that again. Alright, that's about. Uh. <laughs> All right, for those lazy the people who aren't lazy, you can just go down the side and individually click it if you can't find a straight line matching up to where you want it. I don't really care, so I'm just gonna try one more time. Hope for the best. Do, do, do. All right, there, there's a good place. We're gonna mark that seam. And then at the bottom, mark that seam, and then mark up here at the top, mark that seam. Uh, when all the seams are marked where you want it, press A, and what do you do when you press A? Press U for unwrapping, and then press unwrap. And it should unwrap over here. And it came out a little bit better than the first time I did this. Now it gives you the two UV mappings your UV unwrappings and your two islands and I'm just gonna stretch it so that it fits inside the box granted these are terrible but eh, it gets the job done you do 3D painting anyway right so it shouldn't really matter so once we have that we can go on to baking so I'm just gonna create a new texture uh, before I used to do 2000 by 2000 after getting lectured you know who you are I found out that you're supposed to do it to, uh, was it, 1024 times 2 is 20 by 40, 2048 by 2048. Yeah, I did it. No more 2000, not 2000. So no more cringing at me, Gab. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, hit OK. And we're going to just find our, bleh, where did it go? I guess it's selected. And now we're just going to bake. Bake, 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 bake. Nope, I didn't do it right. That's what I get for bad mouth and gab. She's like, ha ha. <laughs> it's not working. How do I select it? Oh, I forgot. You have to have this selected. Then that. There we go. <laughs> Okay, okay. Seriously, we we're rushing over the quickness. So, um, once you have the texture and that's done, you just hit bake. And I gotta give it to quads. It does bake a lot faster than uh, triangular garments do. And it does behave a lot better with uh, sculpt mode. So, while the dress is over there baking... I guess I could pause it or I can spend some time with you guys. So, how's your summer treating you? Not dying, I hope. Or baking alive like I am in this silly little basement. Uh, I really should have just paused it. Alright, I'm just going to pause it. I'll be. Nope, it's lagging. Can't touch it. Wait, can I? Okay, 
So there you have it. It actually came out a lot better than Triss. So I give it to Quads. It does. It is pretty cool. But you have to do a little bit more work. And you know how we are here at the uh, Ginkgo. We like things done fast and now. So that's a quick way of using um, ZBrush to convert your mesh from triangles to quads without having to really do much other than um, mark your seams and unwrap. Um, there is a smart unwrap, but we won't talk about that because <laughs> it gives you really messed up results. I mean, like, look at this. If you think that's bad, check out um, smart unwrap. I mean, I know it gets better the more you play with it, but I could never uh, get the swing of something really concrete with it. Oh, there you go, we're getting there. How about we just turn it to the max? Yeah, that's as good as it gets. But you'll just play around with it and see if it works out for you. Or you can just mark the seams. Or you can stick with tri triangles. It's all up to you. This is just another method and that you know helps you climb up the mountain of creation <laughs> alright guys this tutorial this quick tutorial has gone on long enough um, I hope it helps you out with your project if you got any more questions comments or concerns please feel free to um, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can alright this has been zero see you guys